It's about Lisbeth and Blomquist reuniting again, I think, um, because Lisbeth is facing one of the biggest challenges in her life, and the only person she trusts basically is Blomquist. Um, they find each other again in that world, um, and, and in that whole challenge, Lisbeth is confronted with her past. Um, and she finally learns she can't outrun that past anymore, and she has to face it. There's a lot of kind of blank spaces to fill in, because it means you could create them yourself. It's like reading a book instead of seeing a film. You can create your own, your own characters. You can idolize them as much as you want. You can fantasize. It is all built out of your own imagination. And that's what I love about uh, a character that we don't know that much of. Um, I got to create a new character that came into the story, but I understood the world of Lisbeth Selander. And looking at her, what would her sister be like? Um, uh, and to kind of have her sister mirror her in a way that is also very different and reveals something about Lisbeth that the whole that the audience has been waiting for. After seeing her as a badass for so many years, we want to know who is that, who was that girl, who, how did she turn out to be the way she is, and who would she have been as a little girl? So I think coming into the story as Camilla reflecting on Lisbeth was for me just a very interesting way to create that new character. Fede was very honest to himself and the people he worked with, very um, bold. Um, he had a clear vision, but he was also open to collaborate with his cast and the people he worked with. Um, he was very open to other people's ideas and visions. Um, and we improvised a lot, definitely toward the end of filming. There was a lot of freedom in the scenes where he would come up with different lines while we were doing the scene and I'd try them and they would make the scene even more beautiful or exciting. And so it was a very, very interesting and lovely way of working with the director. I, I really enjoyed working with him a lot. I remember one of the, <laughs> the funniest things about Claire, and also something that I really respect about her, is the difference between her and Lisbeth. She is the most British person I know. <laughs> she is, and it was very funny, because she was in that full a uh, black leather outfit and she was like doing the Lisbeth like badass scenes and then all of a sudden cut and she's like oh my god it's so cold here <laughs> I was like oh wow <laughs> that's crazy so um like getting to know her was very funny and you and you really you know get a lot of more respect for someone that can be so versatile and just so uh has such a big range as an actor because she's so different from Lisbeth you know um, yeah, and just such just a lot of fun to hang out with. I'm a strong believer of women supporting each other. I don't believe in the whole competitiveness between women, and I'm glad that Claire is isn't a per, is, is is the same way. She is very supportive, um, and. Um, yeah, and I think that's just so wonderful because in the end you're a team. You know, it's a team effort. We need each other to create this beautiful story and and I admire her in so many ways. So, yeah, and and I love that we get to an era where we can support women, where we can be, you know, where we can be there for each other and and Claire's a really good example of that.